Hey crypto fans, my name is Garrett and welcome to Altcoin Radar. Today guys, I'm going to give you my realistic long-term price prediction for the Sandbox's Sand token. So guys, if you're new to the channel and you enjoy the content that I create, then go ahead and make sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up because it helps me out and why not, right? And also guys, feel free to follow me here on Twitter as well. You can find the link to it in the description below the video. Um, I like to talk about altcoins and NFTs and day trading and all kinds of good crypto stuff on a daily basis. So I'll be here for the long term. So you might as well go ahead and give me a follow, you guys. Now, for those of you who are new to my channel and this is the first video you've ever seen of mine, um, I'm a long-term altcoin holder. I've been holding onto various altcoins, about 20, 23 of them for you know about five years now. And I'm not in the red on any of them. So the way that I do my my long-term price predictions. I mean, I've been pretty accurate for the last five years, so I don't know why it wouldn't work now. Um, and here's the thing. I don't base my predictions based off of price level. I mean, I do to a, to an extent, but realistically, you guys, they're based on market cap levels. Um, and honestly, I, that's why I don't use technical analysis for this. Um, I use market caps and it's simply a lot easier and I can get a general overall idea of where it could potentially go, you know, in the long term as the market grows as a whole. Now the sandbox, you guys, the sandbox is a freaking huge project. Okay. I mean, this project will grow long term, this one and decentralized land. Um, these two are the main ones that are probably going to grow like crazy in the long term. Okay. And I don't know if any of you guys watched my Decentraland or my mana um, price prediction video, but I, I, I made some, uh, I made some, uh, I, I, I made a little bit of adjustments on my price prediction, price prediction for that one, simply because I know that that one's going to take off someday for, you know, create like crazy. Um, and the same thing with the sandbox, you guys, these two are projects that are going to take off. I mean, just look at this, you guys. I mean, it's ranked number 35. I mean, look how many people that have it on their watch list. This is a huge project. This is a huge, huge project with tons of potential. It's not even funny. You guys right now it's sitting at $3 and 85 cents at the time of me filming this video with a market cap of $3.6 billion and a circulating supply of 1.4 billion tokens, which is 38% of its overall max supply of 3 billion tokens, you guys. Now, here's the thing, all right? This project was back, all of the price data for this project was back to all the way back of, you know, August of 2020. Um, clearly, it started to take off like crazy, you know, towards October of 2021. And we've got an all-time high for this project right now sitting at... $8.44, which uh, was back in November of 2021, which obviously it will go much higher. Um, so $8.44 is a tie. So I want to figure out what the what its market cap was back then. So obviously $8.44 multiplied by, you know, 1.14 billion tokens. Um, whoops, too many. There we go. We had a market cap of probably probably roughly around nine point six billion dollars at one point in time, you guys, which, you know, realistically, wait, hold on, that doesn't make sense. 9.6 billion. Where are we at? Where's where it at right now? So it's at number 35. Um, you know, maybe that is correct, actually. Yeah, that probably actually is. Yeah, yeah that's probably correct. Um, so yeah, guys, roughly around $9.6 billion. Okay. Now, long term, I see no reason why this project cannot reach market cap levels of at least minimum, you guys, I'm talking minimum here. Okay. And this is why where I'm talking about here, you guys, when I talk minimum, when I talk about these minimums here, um, this is me being a realist. Okay, I'm not the type of uh, price prediction person. I'm not the type of person or type of YouTuber that's going to hype you up and be like, Oh, my gosh, the sandbox is going to go going to go to $1,000 or something like that. That's not realistic, you guys, and you, you need to not listen to those types of people, because they're only going to make you lose money in the long term. Um, you know, you're dealing with real money here, you guys, this isn't something to play around with. So you got to be realistic here. Um, so realistically, you guys, I think long term, the market cap of this project can easily get to 25 billion at some point in time, uh, whether it takes three years, seven years, five years, however long it takes, you guys, you know, it will reach that level at some point in time, especially as this project grows. Um, so we're going to figure out where the price would be if it reached those kinds of market cap levels. So guys, we're going to take the obviously you guys, you know, when that happens, the circulating supply is going to be a lot higher than where it's at right now as well. So for the sake of this video, you guys, I'm actually going to use a circulating supply of um, 1.5 billion, 1.5 billion tokens instead of 1.14. OK, so I'm going to do 1.5 billion, which is pretty much half of the overall max supply. So we're going to take 1.5 billion. And we are going to start multiplying it by different numbers and see what we get. So uh, we'll multiply it by $10 first, 10.00. And we've got a market cap of roughly 15 billion, you guys. So obviously higher than that. Now, obviously, if I were to multiply it by 15, um, 
Oh wait, no, that wouldn't be right. Okay, so we'll try that again. We will try 15 billion, or no, 1.5 billion tokens, and we're gonna go ahead and multiply by $15. So multiply by $15, we get $22.5 billion market cap. Okay, so we'll try, we'll go ahead and try $17. So $17 times 1.5 billion tokens. And guys, we come out with 25.5. Ooh, okay, it looks like we're going with $16.50. $16.50 times 1.5 billion. And guys, we come out with $24.750 billion. Okay, that one, I feel comfortable with that number. That's a good solid number. Um, so guys, for the sake of this video and for the sake of my long-term price prediction, I'm gonna go ahead with $16.50. Um, now guys, it can go higher than this and it might go higher than this. It really might. But I like to stay, I like to be conservative and I like to be safe rather than sorry. So, you know, it, it, it's one of those things where it's like, you know, you, you do the best you can, but don't expect the best. Okay. You expect the worst. Okay. Because realistically, you guys, you know, if you're expecting the worst and it reaches that level and even higher, then you're going to be even more excited. So that's awesome. Um, so realistically, you hear you guys, you know, $16 and 50 cents, that's really not that bad. So now since I'm a long-term holder and usually when I buy into long-term positions, I'm usually starting out with $10,000, um, if the funds are available. And so we're going to see what a potential return on our investment would be if we were to buy in right now and hold onto it until it reaches that $16.50 level. Or fi yeah. Um, so let's see what, you know, what we get. So we'll take $10,000 and we're going to go ahead and divide that by $3.19. And guys, this is going to give us 3,134 coins. So 3,134 coins. And we're going to go ahead and multiply this by $16.50. Now guys, for holding on long-term, for holding on for the long term, this isn't a, I mean, this is a pretty solid return on your investment. I mean, especially considering that this project is one of those projects where it definitely has the potential to go a lot, lot higher than this, okay? I mean, I'm talking a lot higher than this. Um, but again, guys, even just this, even if it only gets to these levels, this is a solid return on your investment for just buying and holding long term. Because it really, so you guys, there's not, there's really not much risk into just buying and holding long term. I mean, there's really not. You're literally just buying and holding. You're not having to worry about your emotions with day trading or any crap like that. You're just buying and holding, and that's it. So, guys. Um, for the sake of this video and my long-term price prediction, I'm going to go with $16.50 here, you guys. So um, that pretty much does it for this video, though. So I'll go ahead and wrap this one up. But again, guys, before you guys leave, don't forget to follow me on Twitter here with the link in the video description down below. And also, guys, if you haven't already, go ahead and take a minute to subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a new crypto and altcoin video from me on a regular basis. And hey, guys, with that said, thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you guys in my future videos or chatting with me here on Twitter.